Hi, I'm Meredith McGee, Policy Director of the Campaign Legal Center. You may have heard the old saying, the real scandal in Washington isn't what's illegal, it's what's legal. That is certainly what 60 Minutes laid out in their recent segment on leadership packs. Created by congressmen as a way to get even more money into their coffers and under their control, leadership packs are simply political slush funds that provide members a way to escape restrictions on how they spend their campaign money. That's exactly what it is. It's a political slush fund. Over time, we've had them, they've been outlawed, they spring back in new guises, and this is the latest guise. Even the name of these free spending bank accounts is a misnomer. Right now, there are more than 450 leadership packs. Members of Congress use them to pay for their travel, underwrite their political ambitions for higher office, and, as the 60 Minutes piece showed, to finance their personal lifestyle. Some members of Congress even use them to pay salaries to relatives, which they can't do with their official office accounts. The examples that 60 Minutes highlighted should get your blood boiling. Former presidential candidate John Edwards paying his mistress $114,000 from his leadership pack. New York Congressman Gregory Meeks spending $35,000 to attend NFL games and retiring Senator Saxby Chambliss spending more than $100,000 in the past two years on entertaining at golf courses, all from leadership packs by Republicans and Democrats alike. And what's especially disturbing about leadership packs is where most of the money comes from. You won't be surprised to find out it's lobbyists and special interests. House Speaker John Boehner provides a good example of how the system works. Speaker Boehner is very attentive to how his official campaign account looks. How much is from local Ohioans versus lobbyists and outside groups. But most Ohioans living in his district are clueless that he even has a leadership pack, much less where the money is coming from. Giving money to a leadership pack can bring even greater access to the contributor since this money is totally within the control of the politician with next to no restrictions on how it can be spent. The wise lobbyist will advise a client to give to the official campaign account and to the leadership pack. Even the supposedly core purpose of leadership packs is inherently corrupting using money to buy the support of fellow members of Congress when you run for a leadership position in the House or Senate. There have been efforts for years to fix the leadership PAC problem. But because Democrats and Republicans have them, reform efforts have struggled to get very far. Here's the unvarnished truth of Washington. It is next to impossible to get meaningful access to members of Congress without contributing money. The focus is often on legalized bribery in congressional fundraising. But the more accurate perspective understands the system is also a legalized shakedown. Members of Congress send a clear message in Washington's lobbyist code language that those wishing to gain their ear need to pony up. Perhaps after this attention from 60 Minutes, there will be renewed interest in fixing the leadership PAC problem. Political slush funds, in whatever guise, attract trouble. But members of Congress from both sides of the aisles won't give them up unless they decide there is a political price to pay for an action. Our representatives in Washington aren't there to have special interests underwrite their lifestyle or fuel their personal ambitions. They are in Washington to represent us. I'm Meredith McGee with the Campaign Legal Center. Please visit our website to learn more about what's going on in Washington.